Howdy guys, I am back. Long time no see, huh? It's been quite a while. Hope everybody's been all right. I um, decided to come back, and because I, because I, I honestly, I just really believe in, in in putting good, useful information out to the community of like-minded investors. That's what I. That's the reason why I formed this channel to begin with in the early days, and it's the reason why I'm coming back. So uh, I've been very busy <laughs> with life. Life's kind of, you know, taking an awesome course. Been enjoying where I've been working. It's been really good in this apprenticeship. I've uh, been investing a lot more um, also just into my own health as well, which is huge. You can have all the money in the world, but you'll spend it all to just have your health back. So I'm a big proponent of going to the gym, working out and eating right and taking care of yourself. And that goes for your physical health and your mental health. So just a side note there. I hope everybody's well. I hope you're blessed. If you're not, think of things that, well, you are blessed. <laughs> I mean, if you're watching this video, you're already blessed more than quite a few of the people around the world. So there's that. So I wanted to uh, cover four main stocks that I am currently buying. I guess in greater amounts than just I'm dollar cost averaging in everything right now of the portfolio. Um, but the ones that I am currently buying more of, believe it or not, just because they're on kind of a fire sale, so to speak, maybe not crazy, but decent amount is going to be Hershey's. So I really like the Hershey's. And if we look at them on the all time high, right? It's almost 22,000%. I mean, it's insane. But let's just take a look over the last year, shall we? So the last year, you see they're down from their peak of 274 and currently they have a trading price, as I'm filming this, of $186 a share. The fundamentals of this company have not changed greatly. They have not diminished. The price of cocoa has soared astronomically. But uh, obviously, they're going to pass the consumers like any good company does. And they have actually a pretty good chunk of lion's share in the uh, chocolate market in the U.S. I was reading an article the other day. It said something like 34% or so. So, um, and that may not be exact. It's just a number I'm throwing out. But as you guys know, they're very popular. You can see them in any checkout stand when you go into the store and throughout the store. Heck, I buy them. Um, so anyways, uh, currently that forward P is under 19, which historically speaking for this company is pretty good. And uh, I'm not going to get crazy into all the fundamentals here just because for time's sake, and this is the first video back, but you know, today that starting dividend yield is a 2.94%, also pretty good for the historical last five years. And then also their dividend growth of the last five years, almost 13% CAGR, which is phenomenal. And, uh, whew, excuse me, it's later as I'm filming this. So we'll see when I push this out, but, um, Anyways, also some other things to be aware of their payout ratio is sitting at under 50%. So that's, that's awesome. So they have a pretty good dividend rating, good, solid, uh, pretty good, you know, healthy starting dividend yield for that good of dividend growth rate and a good low payout ratio considered. And the beta on this is lower than the market. <laughs> no pun intended, even though it's went down substantially. I mean, basically you know, like $90 over the last year, pretty much. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue dollar cost averaging and buying more of this and just absorbing more because it's, it's, it's a good company. The other company now is going to be ADM. So ticker symbol ADM, Archer Daniels Midland. We can look at them all time as well. And they're up not near as much percentile because they're also down in the ditch, pretty decent, but Overall, they are an uh, interesting company to take a look at. They're actually in like the food protein space, uh, believe it or not. More so like think of like wholesale ingredients that companies go to buy those from. Uh, agriculture wise, they're more so in. So like raw materials, so to speak. But anyways, huge need long term as well. Uh, look at the year they're, they're a year ago, they're high was, um, you know, over $86. And today they're trading as I'm filming at $60. So not bad. Um, higher starting dividend yield of a 3.33%. 
with that five-year dividend growth of almost uh, 7.4%. They've got a good dividend growth streak. Also, Hershey's has a good dividend growth streak as well, which I didn't mention that. Ford P of this is 10.5. Not bad. And uh, we can look at other metrics as well, but for time's sake, I'm going to keep it safe and keep it keep it short. This is just another one I'm looking at and another one I'm buying more of. Okay, so there's two right there, right? So the other one that I'm buying more of, and it's late at night, so I have to think about all this. <laughs> but I wanted to film just for fun. You know, I, I enjoy it. So let me think. The other two that I'm buying that are on a discount right now are going to be... Oh, yes. <laughs> I had to think about it. Guys, I've got 22 different holdings now. Yes. More than the, way less than what I've had in the past, far past, but it's, 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 it's a decent number. I know all the companies I invested in. I've looked at them. I dug into their metrics. I know them pretty darn well, but um, I mean, it's almost 10 at night here and this is normally when I go to bed. So, but it happens to be a Friday. So bear with me. T row price though. Bingo. That is the other one. And that one on their one year, it doesn't look crazy. Like, Ooh, you know, like. Wow, it's a big discount on their one year, but let's go out to their five year and you'll see what I mean. So in like 21, yeah, that's right. 2021, they had a peak. And uh, it was, you know, over two, well, $222 right here. It even says it. So, um, and currently they're 114. So that's literally like half. I mean, not exactly, but basically half. Um, they are doing wealth management. So like they do like... Um, Think of like mutual funds, except they're now doing index funds and other things as well. So they're adapting with the market. They have quite the user base, um, quite the years of uh, establishment, and they've had a solid 37 year dividend, dividend growth streak. And their payout ratio is, you know, 63% with that five year dividend growth of you know, over 10 and a quarter of a percent for a P of 13.4 as well. So, this is another good one to check out. So, that is the third one to check out. Now, the last one to check out. And I have to think about it. <laughs> because I buy, I, buy, I buy every single Friday, I have my automated buys to go in. So, it's, it's not um, surprising or anything crazy like that. And... Um, I actually just changed to this a little bit. And I know this is going to be kind of some unedited footage and whatnot. I actually am trying out a new software, believe it or not. Um, but like I said, I've tried to keep these films to where it's as least edited as possible. Because in my humble opinion, I am a big podcast listener. I like, like listening to podcasts as well. And most of that stuff, like especially like Rogan and a lot of others, like that's unedited, man, in the sense like it's just you, you go. Like, yeah, they may have scripts or whatever. I don't believe in scripts and crap like that. And honestly, they probably don't have the scripts, I would say, some of those. But uh, I, I just like that that type of material better. Uh, I, I think it's just more real. And I think that's what's missing from so many content creators today. So the realist is, um, I guess, in me. So I, I don't care about what the naysayers say. So leave me a comment. Oh, I hate this. You should edit it. Eh, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. You know, cool story. Um, the, the people that enjoy it will enjoy it. So, all right now. So that other one. Okay. And I'm having a brain fart. It's a little late, a little tired, but that Starbucks is the one that I'm putting more into as well. So S bucks is the ticker symbol as I always call it. And if you ever watch PPC in his channel, it's one of his main core holdings actually now. But um, Starbucks, pretty interesting. They've had a max on their high back in 21 now of 120, almost 126 bucks. Currently, their price is $88 and a quarter. Okay. With that forward P of just under 19, which historically speaking is pretty good for this company for P because it's, it's traded at a pretty good premium. Um, and rightfully so to a degree, like all of these really minus maybe Archer Daniels. Um, I can understand why it necessitate a premium, um, pretty good companies, 
Uh, and even ADM is a good company. It's just the sector that it's in. It usually doesn't demand as high of a PE um, versus some of these like the staples and discretionary um, or financial. Financials usually shouldn't be that high, though, believe it or not. It should be you should be a little lower, um, but, you know, it's priced accordingly to its sector. So, um, all right, enough gibbering here. Starbucks. So today. Starting yield is almost 2.6%. Okay, not bad. Payout ratio under 60%. Dividend growth over the last five years sitting at just under 9%. Pretty decent dividend growth streak of over 13 years. Okay. And uh, I mean, overall, I like what I see with Starbucks. I mean, yeah, they have some issues. Union, un, unionization. <laughs> ah, tongue twister at night. Um, and stuff, right? And I'm not going to get it political about it. I guess I'll give my stance. The union, while they're originally developed, um, could potentially be a good thing. Maybe. For better better working environment, better safety and stuff like that. That's like IBW, you know, what I'm in. Electrical workers. I completely understand why that was formed because literally in the early days, one and two linemen, heck, even electricians I would throw in there, but linemen, you know, high voltage, which I do high voltage, um, were guaranteed to die. And actually, it was sometimes even as high as like three out of four were guaranteed to die within the first short while. So I completely understand why that was started for safety purposes and training. Today, there's a lot more money grab involved, though, I feel like. So that's just my opinion. Um, and uh, sticking with it until otherwise uh, find other resources to where it makes sense. But, um, but yeah, anyways, so enough said there. I think that I know long-term, most likely they're probably going to overcome any of that unionization stuff. And, and even if they do unionize, whatever, I mean, that's cool. Like, you know, hopefully it's good for the workers. Um, I don't think it's going to stop people from buying their coffee or a latte or a mocha. I won't go and buy that fancy drink, but I'd buy their coffee, um, in the store side note, way better coffee. Then uh, if you if you buy it in the store and grind it and uh, make it yourself, uh, I <laughs> I know I'm talking about Starbucks, but I actually like Seattle's best coffee better as a home brew blend because uh, I bought Starbucks and it's literally double the price for the same amount of package, and um, and it actually was not as good. I'm not gonna lie, but in the store, right in in I wouldn't even call it a store, right? But in the the drive through or whatever you want to call it, you know, going in there and, and getting it, it actually is really pretty, good, pretty darn good. So, um, yeah, so yay for Starbucks and yay for those other three. So I think that you're buying at a pretty good discount right now. I like all three or all four of those, excuse me. Um, and those are ones that I'm buying extra every single Friday when I make my buys. So I make my buys every Friday and I put a substantial amount, you know, my income and everything else has changed substantially. Um, so needless to say, I'm doing currently um, between the taxable and the Roth, I'm doing just shy of $1,000 a week into my accounts. Besides also doing my work one as well, but I also do a matching. So that doesn't include that. Um, so yeah, anyways, I look forward to financial freedom and uh, I am not planning on working until the ripe old age of when the government would love me to retire. Um, rather instead, probably 57, because that's when I would be slated for where I currently work um, and, and be able to you know, collect a full retirement. Though I could leave early at 49 and have 30 years. And just have to gap that time period from 49 to 57 with dividends, etc. Um, before I get the pension part. That's fine. But I like where I work. And I like what I do. And I enjoy it. And I like the people I work with. So uh, I don't see that changing anytime soon. I enjoy it. And I'm very blessed. I'm happy to admit. Thank God for that. Um, and yeah, I'm just happy to be back. Super unedited. Don't care. Uh hope you guys maybe got four awesome company ideas out of that video and um nice to see your guys is not face again because <laughs> i don't see them but maybe exciting to be like wow look 
there's my Navy poster. Hey, look, there's John again. Yeah, cool. He's back. Hmm. All right. Anyways, super unedited. Don't care. This is what I'm going to continue to do. Um, I'm just going to probably bring out the companies and highlight them and what I'm doing. Let me know in the comments. If you are watching this, I know I'm probably going to get so few views because I have not been back for a long time. And uh, so like there's nobody active, but I don't really care. Or excuse me, I do care about that a lot <laughs> because obviously I want to help as many people as I can, but I don't care if it is slow momentum. It's fine. Um, I just, one person reached is one more person that I could potentially help. And at the end of the day, for full disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, this should not be taken as financial advice. And I am long in all of these stocks mentioned today, actually. So I'm just a guy here, just trying to help out as much as I can. Always do your own research, okay? Uh, I recommend that to anybody, including myself. Do not buy something just because you hear it on the internet, okay? Um, that's a horrible idea. I just wanted to bring this to your attention because I think the, these four companies are pretty darn solid. Um, three of them are super solid. ADM is a solid company and I'm going harder into it, but just remember it's not like a more mainstream one. So it's, it's not going to have a crazy return, but, um, you know, it'll probably have, you know, high single digits, maybe, maybe a double digit total growth. Um, you know, I mean, nothing, nothing's a guarantee. So there's that too. I hope everybody is well and man, it's been a while. So I'm happy to be back and uh, I want to just do like weekly videos. Heck, maybe even a couple of week, probably not though. I don't want to promise anything that I can't deliver. Uh, just try to shoot for weekly videos. And then if, if it more, we'll see. Um, and, and post them during the Friday to the weekend because I work four ten, So Fridays I'm off. Um, though I'm very busy with my apprenticeship and I got my end of step coming up in just over a month and I'm, that's more important to me than anything, really. Uh, I got to do well on that. Besides my faith, faith is for number one, but I uh, got to do well on that. So, all right. I don't want to hold you guys up anymore. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this uploaded. Let's find out, I guess. If you're seeing this, I guess uh, I got it uploaded. And um, yeah, I'm just happy to be back. And with much love, and much gratitude to be back and humbleness and thankfulness, you guys take care. Have a awesome day. Stay infinite and do good things in the world. Help others. All right. Peace.